You're probably wondering why I'm in a car. And that's because I didn't have the crystal yet for crystal of the week. So I'm going right now on my way to the crystal store at Rock Garden to get crystal of the week. I want something dark and mysterious. So we'll see what we find. We'll see what we find. As you can see, it's raining and we just got to Rock Garden. Hey, how are you? Good. I love that one. Oh, Rise yeah. with the smoky quartz in it. Beautiful. That one's on my website. I just put it on my website. I still have to add a description. It's been so crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's from 2019. And then these are 2018. And this is going to be coming up soon. Finally, I'm finishing this piece and I'm so excited. Yeah. They're just so pretty. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out three and then you guys won't know what they are until <laughs> I do my crystal of the week. So maybe this will be one option. Option one. This is kind of strong. So this was my first crystal of the week. So this is in my master painting right now, still up for grabs. And it has not just one of these pieces, but seven. I like this. Yeah. This too. Is this garnet? No, that is um, red jasper. Ooh, grounding. Very grounding. <gasps> I love the red jasper. I may have to do the red jasper because like the red devil. Ooh. So after yeah. one and two. And we gotta find one more. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. It's like a heart. So, Vandenite provides deep sleep for a state of meditation, and it allows the mind to entirely void. Like, I just had a mental breakdown, so this might be good because it could take my brain away from TE, and then I can go to bed and not think about all the million things I have to do for my little crystals. This is a great stone for people that overspend. It's supposed to help control your ration and your quick decision making when it comes to financial uh, decisions. What I'm getting out of this, it promotes order and helps you kind of get back on your path, but also by removing uh, the energy of like worry or feeling like all the things that are the stressors in your life to kind of put them at void for a second to get you back on course to have you vibrating at a level. Ten. Mm. What am I gonna do? What feels right? Vandenite, tiger's eye, red jasper. Which one? Which one? Which one? Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, Okay, we're doing this one, Red Jasper. Red Jasper, I 
watching you. I'm gonna go back with you. We got it, we found it, and we're about to do some real cool Christmas. Palo Santo? Yes. Palo Santo. And positive. Mm -hmm. We're very fine. <laughs> so I'll see you guys back. Bye. You know what day it is? It's fucking Tuesday. Okay, so we're back in the studio and I chose red. So a major reason why I chose red jasper is because it is the sign of Aries and I am an Aries, which is the first astronomical sign. We are leaders of the pack and I just feel like this is a very strong stone. I thought this was kind of cool because it reminded me of like the devil, red, dark. I never had a piece of red jasper. So this is my first actual big piece of red jasper. I never had a red piece of jasper. And it just is super strong. Like I feel like it's just like, all right, I like that it's like polished and then also rough. So I get like both dimensions of the crystal. I don't know. And even on the bottom, it's polished. The bottom and like the top, I don't know. I like that like you can rub it. And then the middle is like this like hard texture. What is really cool and eerie is I didn't even see the TE sign within the video that was like showing about the crystals and then on top of it if you kind of watch before i chose this crystal it kind of was like in the middle calling me being like come pick me and i don't know i just am so happy i chose this and it's like perfect for my crystal collection so i'm excited and i think you guys definitely need this piece so let's get into crystal of the week red jasper so red jasper is technically like a nurturer it is grounding, nurturing, centering. So if red jasper comes your way, you see it unexpectedly and it's calling to you. It could be a sign of you being burnt out or having like a mental exhaustion breakdown. I've had tumbled pieces like really tiny, but I never had a really nice big piece. And I've been excited because I've been wanting one for this exact reason. It gives your body and spirit energy to breathe in new life for like, um new projects it's really good for new projects and creativity and i feel like that goes hand in hand with te so i definitely need this crystal all up on me red jasper also centers you so that you can regain your sense of purpose in this world again i feel like we all need to understand that we are continuously growing and continuously learning and there's no age that that stops at so whether you are four years old 16 17 25 all the way to freaking 80 our brains have the capability of continuing to learn. It's actually you that stops yourself. That's how powerful the mind is. Also, you know that this is an airy sign, this crystal, and I actually just looked more into it, and it's also Scorpio, so I lied. It's two. It's Aries and Scorpio for Red Jasper. This stone is also known as like a lucky stone for any artists, actors, actresses, um, creators, innovators inventors it radiates at such a high level of vitality that it can overwhelm our spirit to give it that energy it needs to really take action to really start stepping forward on our path the reason why i love that this one's polished and rough is because it reminds me of both sides of life that you can kind of have those dark moments and light moments but everything's going to be okay because i like that it comes to a point because i feel like i am at a pivotal point in my life a really grounding and centering my soul so that i continue my purpose that i know that i'm here and what i'm meant to do also because this is a red stone it is going to calm sexual aggression really promote sexual compatibility so it's going to really enhance um healthy eccentric sex but for it to come to you in the way it's supposed to come and i feel like where i am at 
I'm not worried about that. I What God has for me, he will bring to me. And Red, Red Jasper is also an excellent worry bead for calming. And I'm putting like worry bead in quotes because like I feel like it's just like calming emotions. That's why I'm calling it a worry bead because it's not really a bead. It's a crystal. So I really rewind. It's a worry crystal. <laughs> so with that said, it would be great for you to place it under a pillow if you have a um, even if tumbled like I'm gonna show you guys as as you can see I have those smaller pieces So maybe with those smaller pieces just putting a piece under your pillow. It's gonna allow basically um, To promote dream recall and that's great because when you are manifesting and you're grounding your soul You need to remember your dreams because when you're sleeping That's when your subconscious is fully alert and that's when your spirit knows exactly what it needs to be doing for you to live your purpose What's great about the red jasper, it stimulates the base chakra, and that's the root of us, and it's basically going to stabilize our aura to keep us grounded and really here in the physical earth um, without being so in our head. I get inside my head a lot of the times, and we are the hardest on ourselves, so take a deep breath in, <sighs> that shit fucking go, because you're fucking beautiful. One thing that you can do with your crystal to get yourself grounded is grab maybe like the smaller pieces like tumbled and hold them in your hands and whenever you can um get the chance because i know it's getting cold over here so maybe this would be an activity for like the summer or if you're in a warm climate um definitely get barefoot and just get like in the grass and the soil when you are walking with red jasper and your feet are connected to the soil you're walking on top of the world your whole spirit to be on top of the world and i know that sounds cliche but these movements is like muscle memory for our subconscious so this is very all like spiritual work so you're just strengthening your spirit why this exercise is so important i feel is because dirt is the source of everything if you think about dirt really if you really really think about dirt it is minerals and it is organic compounds and all of this i feel like it's just all different types of crystals all together into one and if we think about dirt from a scientific point of view, um, dirt is basically the root that uh, grows everything. So it's the base and the source that is really going to give life, um, which is the same thing as red jasper. So that would be a really cool exercise for you guys to try out. So it's pretty beautiful and definitely go get jasper now. Go get red jasper now. Um, so what I would do is first get your candle and you want to make sure you clear all the you want to make sure you clear all the negative energy so i would just hold it just like this whoever was making this whether they had uh, negative intentions or anything you just want to make sure you purify it so that you go into it with good intentions right off the bat and then also like what you can do is make sure you have like a little bowl nearby like how cute made this um on a wheel i made this on a wheel clear the energy out i would even hold it close to your heart um, once you have saged it, you kind of put the sage down and then I would just kind of like rub your energy into it and I would just say affirmations. So for me, like I would say for this, uh, red candle, I would say like, you know, give me energy, grounding and willpower or vitality. So I would just say I'm energetic. I wake up today full of energy. Um, I have willpower over my vices and you're just gonna put all that energy in there. And then I would actually stick it right in to your candle holder if you got one. Mine's right here, it has all the little gems for the Shavin Chakra. So I would put your candle in. Okay, so that's the candle and we're gonna light it in just one second. So now that we got the candle all cleared, uh, selenite also, you can clear your crystal with this. So you can kind of just like leave this right there. Like, whoop, just make sure it's getting like clean and purified and ready to really absorb our energy to work with us and for us to heal whatever we are working on. And for this exact energy, we are going to be working on making sure that we can really have the energy to radiate at a level 20 million. What I thought I wanted to add is also an incense. because I want to learn more about incense as well, and I'm starting to get really more knowledgeable on them. And so far, the woman at the crystal shop that recommended these, I burned two of the positive vibes, and I gotta tell you, I feel very positive lately. Like, the last two days, I feel like it's been very positive um, in my workspace and even with my, like, team. But I haven't tried this one, so I'm excited about this. So she told me this, the Palo Santo, is this, like, driftwood that is, like, passed on from ancient, 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 ancient years ago. It's a smudge stick in a scent form that takes out 
like dark spirits. And as she said it, Ugh. she was like that, Ugh. right? Remember she was like that, Ugh. I'm like the what? She's like, Ugh. you mean that? Ugh? She's like, Ugh. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I need to get rid of that. Ugh. She was like, come this way, dude. They got the fucking incense. I get rid of that. Ugh. Smells so good. While you're doing your little ritual, you can burn your little incense. It's gonna really take out that heaviness in those dark, weighed down areas in your home or your office where you feel like there's, I don't know, it's a feeling. So if you feel like it's very heavy, this is what you need. It smells very like, it smells like wood, but like a cleaner wood. Mix it in with the positive vibes. If I can kind of give you guys a rundown of what smells, how, what one, how they smell. This one is very like, white wood sandal beachy it kind of smells like very lilac-y and it kind of smells like very flowery and i enjoy it very much and it says on here oh my god this is incredible these are handmade in india hand rolled in india yeah definitely get these definitely get these you feel depressed and you need positivity get these now buy these now you feel hopeless and there's darkness all around you and you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel what are you gonna do okay thank you my little crystals for tuning in today i'm excited a lot is coming up this week so stay tuned because the hot necks are about to be released for round two when in doubt crystal it out red jasper i'm super excited to add you to my collection go grab a piece today at rock garden and check it out and november 1st our angel boxes will be out as well and that's gonna be the monthly subscription for you guys to get crystals of the week with me to do them and the ritual candles and sage and all that fun stuff for crystals for candles sage and other secret surprise surprise bye bye guys see you guys next week bye i don't want to say goodbye thank you my little crystals for the continuous support and i'll see you guys next Tuesday.